Bonjour, je m'appelle Foxy and welcome to the French Revolution episode whatever I'm on now. I actually haven't got a single clue at this point. Um, we have the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Now, obviously, if you're watching all the diehard YouTubers, they're on season number 50. I am still on race number six, seven, six. Maybe, some like that. But anyway, uh, if you end up enjoying the video, though, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. And let's get straight into things then. I'll give you guys a quick little briefing of what's going on. So as you can see, uh, in the driver rivalry, we picked uh, Lewis Hamilton. Of course, he is washed, um, so we're smashing him at the moment. Uh, and as you can see, here is our stats so far. We've had no drivers or constructors championships. We're aiming for those. We've had three pole positions, 51 points scored, no race wins from our three pole positions. <laughs> Only one podium from our pole positions. We're averaging a finish of P7 and averaging a grid of 5th, which kind of goes to show that we're quicker uh, in the qualifying than we are in the race. Uh, and we've driven 454 miles because we are goated. Now, as you can see, here is the RNT screen. And as you can see, we are catching Aston Martin and Mercedes, but that is to be expected because I've obviously given myself more money, more resource points and everything like that in between. Gee. Why? Because I hate things that drag on too long. Uh, so, uh, we look at the progress. We've got a couple of aerodynamic pieces on the way. We've got some rear downy force, followed by some front downy force, uh, and then some chassis rythry d'orchant to the rifle on the uh, and then there's the progress history. So as you can see, Red Bull are out front. Ferrari are starting to close. The Mercedes are staying neutral. We're basically on top of Aston Martin, if you get what I'm saying, Lawrence Stroll. Uh, and that's where we're at. And of course, here are our components, which we are going to swap the older components to make sure they do not explode. So hopefully that basically gives you a roundup of where we are and what we're doing and what we plan to do. Uh, but we need to get to a, get, uh, to a qualifying session. And I've also got something that's slightly different to show you. So I said to you all that I had something to show you. And as we go out for our first qualifying lap, um, I've opted to change my Alpine a little bit. Um, basically, I kind of just wanted to start making this series a little bit more original because uh, by making changes that are more original for me, it just gives me more interest, like the F1 journey. Um, so, I've gone ahead and just abandoned all of the pink, apart from on the wheels, and I've given myself a blue Alpine with the black sponsor of BWT. I've kept the pink numbers and I've kept the pink uh, on the wheel arches, uh, on the wheel covers. Um, so there is still some pink about, um, but I've also, and I've not changed the race suits, but I've opted to go ahead and just basically mod the livery uh, and make it uh, blue uh, instead, because I just prefer it in the blue. And I've made the BWT sponsor itself in black. As you guys know, my favorite color combination is black and blue. Um, so why wouldn't I do this? But let me know in the comment section down below, does this look sexy uh, or does it look mad? Um, which one is it? Is it sexy or is it mad? But I've obviously got rid of the pink. I'm very satisfied with what I have done. Uh, and that's basically it. So let's go and set up Magnus and Cheeky Boy. The vital lap to put in because the rain has arrived. Well, I'll tell you what, the rain did come down, but did it take any casualties from the session? Uh, I don't actually know. I don't see a Carlos Sainz any. Ooh! Land, uh, Lance Stroll, Landon Norris, and Carlos Sainz all knocked out in Q1 with Hamilton Verstappen Perez on the limit as well. So that's a little bit interesting. So getting that lap in early definitely paid dividends. But the track is now wet and um, I can't drive on a track that's dry. So, um, bollocks. Okay, a couple of impressive lap times there. We're in fifth place at the moment, so not too bad. Just getting used to these wet weather conditions because it's, well, it's not inters, it's full wet. And so I need to have a look at the graphics for when I race in the wet because the graphics on this game in the wet, for me, are appalling. There we go then, cross the line. Really struggling in the last two corners. And, uh, oh, we got second, did we? Jeez, man. Jeez. All right, that's a little bit cheeky. Who was in front of me then? Who got the fastest time? Charles Leclerc. And the gap was a tenth of a second. That's kind of fair enough, really, because we lost too much time in the Ravatzes on the... Uh, uh, oh, George Russell. I'm out, guys. Sorry. You are out in Q2, my friend. Oh, Logie, Logie. So close to Q3, by one one thousandth of a second, he misses, that is depressing, bruh. Never mind that, we actually look quite competitive, and it's making me moist. There we go then, 
across the start finish line. That's probably gonna be like seventh or something like that. All right, P4, you know what, I'll take that. That's that's fine by me. So this is what I mean, look. So Hamilton set to 24.0 for sector. Uh, we come across the line uh, and we set a 24.6. So I lost six tenths to Hamilton alone in sector one. Sector two, we did a 26.0. Uh, I think Hamilton was a tad faster at a 25.9. So we basically match each other in the middle sector, bar Hamilton by a few tenths. But then in the final sector, Hamilton does a 25.6 and then we come across the line and we do a 25.3. So I'm three tenths up on the Mercedes in the final sector so the biggest problem now is going to be making sure that we l limit the amount of damage that we do to ourselves in sector one and make sure we maximize what we do in sector three otherwise it's going to be a difficult race mm, medium to soft tires daddy I'll take some of that right uh, we'll try that um, I don't know what the feels gonna be like so we're gonna have to put a bit of uh, extra fuel on board um, we're starting P4. Our race pace is a lot worse than our quality pace, so we need to bear that in mind and just try and have a decent haul of points for this weekend. So here we go, getting ready for the race. A lot of people starting on the soft tyres around me. My controller is having an absolute mare. Oh! I've had a better start than Charles Claire. Oh, Mald is pushing away from me. Got more downforce on my car. Oh god, Mald, I've had him! Oh, Mald! I'm gonna blame that on Leclerc for pushing me. Holy straight line speed, Leclerc! Fortunately, I think I'm a sitting duck on this straight. I don't have much straight line speed. And the Ferrari has DRX. Jesus flipping Christ on a bicycle, my son! Right, now we just use the DRS to hang on to Leclerc and let me get dragged along with the soft tyre runners. That was insane car control. This is the proper one. Get the switch back on the club. Doesn't work. Check that out for a bit of back end sliding. Oi! Shocking exit, man. Just gonna put him into pressure from Perez now. I'm just gonna let him go. It's my fault. Made a mistake. Oh! That was naughty from Charles Leclerc. All right, Charles Leclerc boxes. So does Verstappen. So does Hamilton. So we're going to lead the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. All right, here we come then. Time for our pit stop window. Gasly stays out. My boy's leading the Grand Prix. What a geezer. Got to get that right. And we're on to the soft compound tyres. All right, so Hamilton and Verstappen are going to go through. There they Excuse me, there they are. Where are we in conjunction with Leclerc and also Perez? So Leclerc goes through with a nice clean gap. And then Perez. We are just going to be behind him, I think. Flipping hell, that's close. Smash the exit. Come here, Sergio, you are mine. Open the doors. Get rid of that battery going. Don't want to use it all, though. Playing the inside into turn one. Not got the straight line speed. Nice move. Good job. Bit of a ropey overtake, but we got it done. I'm struggling massively on these tyres now. It gave me the initial, initial purchase, which I wanted, but they're wearing really quick. Again, man, I don't have to turn it. I'm just going to let Perez through. I'm struggling too much. I'm going to just try and drag myself along. We've also got some worn engine components. Turbocharger in particular. I hope you can see what my frames is like at the moment because it's absolutely appalling. Just can't drive anymore. And this is why I use flashbacks specifically because the frames on this game is shocking. I, I need to look at graphic settings again and look at my driving. I've updated everything on my end. But the game is, at portions, completely unplayable. Like now, I've lost DRS to Perez, and Gasly is catching me at a rapid rate of knots, so I don't think he'll catch me by the end of this race, but I genuinely believe he'll be in my DRS before the end of this Grand Prix, such as his pace, so I'm literally just going to bring it home now. I've, I've given, I've not given up, but I've got nothing left at the last corner. There we go then. It is going to be a P5 and a P6 for Alpine. Here at Emilia Romagna, that's not too bad. Progress. Okay, so here we are then for the race results. Verstappen just beats Lewis Hamilton to victory here at the Emilia Ranier Grand Prix. Charles gets P3 with Sergio Perez claiming P4. We finished the race in fifth place ahead of Gasly who finishes in sixth. Overall, it's a super impressive performance uh, from ourselves uh, this weekend for Alpine, of course. Russell and also Sites, wherever he is in all this, this, uh, of course, weren't able to really get into the mix. So we probably got a little bit fortunate with five and six in terms of positions. But overall, the race felt all right. I definitely struggled a lot. Um, I couldn't keep the consistency up, especially over these curbs around here. They always screw me over. 
Um, tire wear is a big problem. Um, the AIs just seem to be much more efficient with them than, than I am. The medium tires felt great. The soft tire stint was, was horrible. I really didn't like it at all. Um, something to look at moving into the future. But in terms of the championship now, uh, you can see Verstappen is still top by a long, long way over Sergio Perez. Shock. Uh, in terms of everybody else, though, we are, I think we've got in front of Sainz in the championship, potentially. Uh, and Gasly is picking up some points now, which is great to see. In the Constructors' Championship, uh, we are currently fourth in the championship. 90 points, pretty much in a world of our own. But if we can keep upgrading at the rapid rate, which we are, which I know we are because I've increased everything for me, um, we should be in the mix for P2 uh, in this season, which is brilliant. Oh, we've got a marketing department event. Let's have a look and see what it says. Right. Uh, how should we go about, uh, to, how should we grow our brand? The team is looking to grow our brand and would like your input. There are a few options on the table. Which seems most appropriate? Uh, charity. Involvement in, with a charity will be worthwhile at the same time. Good exposure. Maybe try and get a slot on a primetime chat show or social media. Uh, and I personally believe, in my opinion, charity, no. Interview, no one's really going to see it. You want to be building a social media platform because that's where it's heading. Okay. Um, also, here's a look at the Alpine again uh, that I've built uh, with um, in, in the lesh, in the flying light there. So, what do we need to do then? Uh, aerodynamically, we are melt, um, but I can't do anything. This is annoying. Um, so, I'm going to have to go elsewhere. I'm going to get the next set. Of, there's a bit, a bit. Can I do the two at the once? No, I can't do weight redistribution and tire wear at the same time. I really need some tire wear. Um, it's just getting a bit beyond now, uh, my struggles with tire wear. So I'm going to black, black, black? I'm going to slap that on the car. Now I could do another upgrade to my power unit to come in time for a power circuit of Canada. And I like that solution, even though I should really focus on maybe ERS or fuel efficiency. Uh, maybe I'll look at the fuel efficiency one next. Durability, I really couldn't care less about. And uh, we're just waiting for upgrades at the moment to roll on through. We have got one, though, for the Halo. So let's see if that arrives on the car or whether it fails. It does arrive, which is a major rear downforce upgrade. You love to see it. Does that allow me, though, to unlock other depart? It does. Oh, so I can get a bit of, bit of drag reduction coming onto the car now. But that's key because we need that drag reduction because we haven't had any yet. So um, anyway, guys... That's it for this episode of the French Revolution. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're only around here as well. We've got plenty more stuff on the way. Next race is the Monaco Grand Prix. And uh, if I manage to complete this race without dying, uh, it will be brilliant. But I really can't see me doing it. And I'll probably end up just simulating the race and pretending like something happened. Um, so until then, I will see you next time. Take care all. Peace.